Hello and welcome to another episode of Laravel Tips, Tricks and Packages, a useful video series where I show you some of the features and packages that you can use within Laravel. So in this video we're going to look at how we can add multiple paginations to a single page in Laravel. So as you can see here I'm just piggybacking off an earlier video and I've got a list of posts here and I can paginate through them. So that's nothing fancy, that's a pretty standard thing you probably do in Laravel every day. Now let's say we want to add another pagination to this. So say we want a table with our users. So over in my home controller, I'm just going to break this down onto a new line to make it easier to read. And I'm also going to pass down some users. And I'm just going to grab the users. I'm going to paginate them. I'm going to get the first five. I'm just going to drop this post down to five as well so it's easy to see on the page. So now over in our view file, I'm just going to copy this card and I'm going to change this over to users. So I'm going to change it to username. Instead of looping posts, I'm going to loop the users as user. We start the user's ID. Uh, we don't need that word limit, so we can just do user name, user created at. And then finally, for the pagination itself, we want the users links. Oops, I've made a mistake there. So back over in our controller, let's change that to users and not user. And there we go, we can see our two paginations now. So we have our posts and we have our users and we can flip through our users and we can also flip through our posts. Now, did you notice what happened there? That when we changed the pagination of one, they both changed. So let's look at that again. So we're both on page one here now. And then on our post, let's go to page eight. And you can see now our user's pagination has also changed to page 8. So the two paginations are not working independently of each other. So what Laravel is doing here, when you change a pagination, it appends a get parameter. And you can see this up in the URL bar here. So it's appending a page equal to 8. So when that request comes into Laravel and it looks at that and then works out what data it needs to get from the database, depending on that page number. So obviously in our case we're paginating 5, it sees page 8 and it goes to 36 to 40. But the problem is, with it saying page 8 here, it doesn't know whether we want page 8 of the users or page 8 of the posts. So it treats them both the same and gets page 8 for both. So over in the Laravel source code, let's take a look at this paginate method. And this is under your vendor folder, Laravel Framework Source Illuminate Database Query Builder. If you come down to the paginate method, you can see here it takes in a number of parameters. And the first one being per page, and we're passing five in here. The next one's the columns to get. And then here at the third parameter, it accepts a page name. And this is how we let Laravel know which pagination it is that we want to move on to the next page. So now all we need to do is just pass in them extra parameters that Laravel needs so it knows which pagination it's working with. So here in the paginate method, first we're going to get all the columns still. So that's the default. And then we need to give it the page name. And this name could be absolutely anything. I'm just going to call this post to keep this simple. And then again on the users, we want to get all the columns. And I'm just going to call this pagination users. So now we're over in our browser, if we just hover over the pagination uh, links here, you can see down in the bottom left corner of the browser, this is now appending posts equal to instead of page equals to. And if we look at the users pagination, again in the bottom left, you can see that now says users equals to. So Laravel knows which one to use. So let's have a look at posts page five. And we can see that set posts to equal to page 5 at the top, and it's shown as page 5 for the post results. But the users has remained the same. So let's say we want to now look at users page 10. So we can click users page 10. And you can see this gives us the users page 10. This also highlights another problem with our code as it currently is. As we change to page 10 of the users, we lost track of the posts. We went back to page 1. And that's because Laravel only knows about what users page we want. It doesn't know what the current post page was when we made that request. So we need to let Laravel know about the state of each of the paginations. So when the page refresh comes in, Laravel knows 
what page each of the paginations is currently on. So over in our view file, what we can do here in the links method is append something else to it. So before we call the links, let's call the append method. And then inside of appends, we can just pass it a key value array of the things that we want to append onto the post links. Let's open up a new array here and we want to append the users. And what we want to do is append the current state of the users pagination. So we can call the users and on there is a method called current page. So if we just refresh this in the browser and now when we hover over the pagination for the posts, we can see down the bottom left of our browser there, it's building up the URL and it's passing in the current state of the user's pagination, which is currently on page 10. So on the post, let's go to page 4. And you can see now the URL is built up, it's passing in users page 10 and post page 4. So as we scroll for the pagination of posts, it remembers the state of the users table. Now obviously let's just do the reverse here for the users as well. So if we come down to the users links and we call appends and open up an array again and we want to append the posts and we want to get the posts and we want to get the current page of the posts. So we'll just give this a refresh again and if we just hover over the links down the bottom we can now see that we get the posts and the users appended. Let's go to page 13 of the users and you'll notice the posts remain at seven as well.